Good evening, this is Tap Kai Online, and in today's editorial, we will break down the latest controversial remarks made by Donald Trump, the Republican candidate for the 2024 presidential election. Trump has once again stirred debate with his comments on immigration during a recent interview. On October 7, Trump, during an interview with conservative commentator Hux Helwood, claimed that the U is allowing immigrants to cross the border freely, many of whom have violent criminal histories. He specifically pointed to 13,000 people he alleged to be convicted murderers, many of whom, he said, had killed more than once. Trump suggested that these individuals are now living freely in the U, which he believes has led to an influx of bad genes in the country. He emphasized that those with such criminal backgrounds could have a genetic predisposition to violence, adding that America is currently dealing with a major issue of bad genetics. Trump's statements align with his long-standing tough stance on immigration, especially targeting those accused of criminal activities. Throughout his campaigns, he has consistently linked immigration to crime, a tactic that has resonated with his base but also drawn significant criticism. According to a report from Toyota News, Trump's claims may be based on a letter sent by the U. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, to Republican Representative Tony Gonzalez last month. The letter revealed that ICE has a list of 13,099 convicted murderers who are not currently detained. This list reportedly includes both legal and illegal immigrants. However, the data spans over several decades, which has sparked debate about the accuracy and relevance of Trump's claims. A spokesperson from the Department of Homeland Security refuted Trump's interpretation of these figures, arguing that they are misleading. They clarified that many of these individuals entered the U. as far back as 45 years ago and that decisions about their detainment were made by previous administrations. Furthermore, many of those on the list are under the supervision of federal, state, or local law enforcement agencies. Trump's campaign has defended his remarks, asserting that he was only referring to murderers, not all immigrants. Meanwhile, the White House has condemned Trump's comments, calling them divisive and misleading. This latest controversy is just another chapter in Trump's long history of making inflammatory statements about immigration, particularly during election seasons. As the 2024 election draws closer, we can expect more heated debates and polarizing views on this deeply complex issue.